And the umpire was going for a flag, it creeps in. That far upright. Well, that was an excellent score from Jerry O'Neill. He went over on the far side from a very accurate point. Switching the play to the far side, and Dave Morrison making a massive run, beating Cullum Day in possession. Daly, well, he's been turned here by Morrison. Morrison shortening the grip on Orley. Umpire taking a good look, and Castle Lines are up and running for the first time. As Ronan Fenton intercepted that one, ball to the centre park to Alan Fenton. Man who scored That's 31 score. points in this championship. He's getting himself in the Premier League immediate champ centre. Lovely, deft little foot touch there by David Morrison. Ball breaks outside to Ronan Fenton. Shortens the grip of the Hurley. Going a long way in and going a long way over the bar. And all of a sudden, Corsi Rovers were leading after six points to three. Discretion and Sean Toomey has won the breaking ball. Trying to break inside towards Castellines territory. Takes on the man off the left hand side. And that, after a mistake from the puck over from Castellines, is a superb level. Leary finding Leon Ducey to this near side. Ducey. Racing to the 45 metre line, shortens the grip for a hurry and retakes the lead from the inner kitty size point of view. Yeah, excellent score, and as Mark said in the last side, Tom Carroll there break it down. Colin Barry was he holding back the Corsi Rovers man, Sean Toomey, who affected a great tackle there. And here's Jerry O'Neill getting his second point of the game, and we're level once again. Ball off of the Tom Carroll's hurry, and Jerry O'Neill picked up the pieces. Thanks very much. Ball worked inside, goal opportunity, cuts the line, scrambles into the back of the net, goal scored to the way of Niall O'Leary. Great goal again, Paul Gray. Spillane now to try and get on possession, does so, shortens the stick, plays it outside out towards Anthony Spillane, the two brothers combining, here is the captain of the Castellan side, and all of a sudden inside a minute, they take a foot from Niall, can Corsi Rovers get a reply as playing it outside, Liam Collins outside to Ronan Nyan and that's a very, very good reply. Yeah, again, straight from the puck out again, long puck out by Stephen Nyan, broke by... Uh... Power line to the goal scorer, Niall O'Leary, outside to... Here is Owen May from the 45 metre line, Let's... shot going in from Owen May, and a score going the way of Owen May. Shot at Tom Carroll, finding Leo Sexton. Long ball, looking for Anthony Spillane, super catch from the Castle Lines captain. Ball in, goes for the flag, what a score from the cast. Right hand, high over the bar, great score, great leadership from Anthony Spillane in that equation. Of course, your overs winning possession, Jerry O'Neill looking for a reply, and that's a superb reply, Matt. Uh, looking for Spillane again, who's climbing highest, and this occasion, Ronan Fenton breaking onto possession, pops the ball on the loop to Anthony Spillane, and Spillane has been eccentric and electric in the opening 29 possession. Deep inside his own half, looking to switch the play back where it came from. Walks outside, out towards Alan Fenton it is, and Alan Fenton with the score. Yeah, down the centre, just slipped through the hands of the Corsi Rovers man, and Liam Collins, and the shot going in here from Anthony Spillane, or Colin Spillane, who contacted us during the week. And Sean, I hope you're keeping well, as this ball going a long way in. Going to the left hand side and inside the near upright and Sean O'Sullivan well I can fight tooth and nail for the next puck out and turn the ball back towards the course's forward line. Four scores in a row from a course's point of view but Owen May stems the tide and releases the sh ball and all of a sudden the South East Divisional side Arden Doughtelers. They, they were never out of it Patrick but they're fighting tooth and nail for oh, the yes, line, you know? Richard Sweet them from the short sideline evaded the tackle and up to slip through his hand. Good tackling from a course, your Rovers point of view. Pops the ball outside to Jerry O'Neill. Skyscraper going into the Black Rock score. end. And another brilliant score from the name of Jerry O'Neill. Being replaced by Owen Coleman. And just there now, Cullum Daly making his way off the field as Kevin Collins comes into play. And course, your Rovers, well, they're under pressure and they're under more pressure now because Castle Lions have extended it straight off the back of the quarter time. The fourth. Again, off his right hand, got a great score for his third point, I think, in this, in this game. Ball won inside by Sean Toomey, breaking through 1 2, being Harriet Hassel. Great pass inside, shot and goal, broken and into the back of the net. The sucker punch that Corsi Rovers badly needed is going to the name of the. And Fenton, this time Corsi Rovers getting the rubber to green through Martin Collins. Richard Sweetham steadies the feet, looks right to the Black Rock end, ball going and in. Over. Monster score, and we're down to the minimum. To Brian Collins 
as the defender trying to break away was Liam Collins. Shot going in here, short of the grip of the Hurley, and in Fenton, what a score at a crucial juncture. The mark. Uh, Great pick from Anthony Spillane, finding the runner inside. Spillane kept it in by the byline, pops the ball out towards the edge of the D, going for a shot inside here. Mikey Spillane, the three Spillane, or the two Spillane.